Hey guys, DVD Studio Pro Part 2. Good news, people. I've got a funny joke book with me, so I can keep. Ooh, nearly just knocked the lotus. Oh, God. So I can tell you some great jokes whilst we're doing this, so we're both entertained. Right, what did the giant canary say? Tweet. I don't get it, but. Um, that's what it says. Anyway, what I've done since last time is that I've imported some more videos. Um, if you're bringing in a DVD um, for a DVD, the best format is if you ex there should be a preset for most editors that lets you export for DVD, and this will save as an M2V file plus a WAV audio file. So you can. I'm going to show you. Here's my main feature. It's called the end master copy. If you just drag the video, it will automatically bring in the audio, as you can see. Well, what what shall we do? Well, I want to add some more tracks. So I'm going to add two new tracks. So I'm going to add a track, and I'm going to add a track. Now, I've got an Allen and Staff DVD mod, and what that is, is an introductory video saying Alan and Staff DVD presentation and I want that to play before the menu I've also got a CC license video which I'd be happy to give to anyone because basically what it is is that it's saying that my video is late licensed with Creative Commons because otherwise you have to pay for copyright but this is um, a pretty cool thing so yeah I've got one of them and I want them two videos to both play before my DVD where it's very simple basically we're going to grab my Alan and Staff introductory video, put that onto one of them. We want to tell it it's widescreen, so on the general tab, 16 9 letterbox, in track 2, we're going to drag our CC license, which will automatically add the audio because they are linked because they've both got the same name. And on that, click on it to get its information, and it's automatically set to 16 9 letterbox because it well, any DVD editing software will love the M2V files, I swear. Okay, so, and the last thing we want to do is add our main feature to track 1. So here's my end video, track that to track 1, and because it's M2V it's going to automatically set it to the right ratio. Okay, so how do we set this up to play first? Well, there's a couple of ways of doing it. We can right click and press first play or click off to get the DVD settings and you can set the first play where's that, oh sorry, at the top here first play and you can set it to a track and a little stuff DVD and just set it to the track there so now that's the first play click on that to get some information and jump, where do we want to go from there? well I want it to then go to the copyright thing so we're going to go tracks, CC license, track. As you can see, we've got an arrow. Let's start positioning this so it looks a bit better. Let's move that there. That goes to there. And then the end jump for this CC license is going to be a menu, main menu. And it, just to let you know, as main menu, so it gives us all these options. That is what features it's going to highlight. Um, it's if you just click on the menu, it's going to just highlight the default button. So that's all we want. So it's going to by default highlight the play movie. It goes to there. And now, if we click on here, double click, we can set what these buttons are going to do. So the play movie, where it says target, click there. We're going to set it to a track. And mine's called the end master copy, and just select the track there. Special features, so we want to link our two menus together. So it's very simple. On the target, you click, and instead of going to tracks, you go menu, special features, and there we go. And for also what we can do, the subtitles. Now, how how do we set this up? Well, I've just got a default button that plays it straight to the film with subtitles. So what we want to do, go to our graphical view, go to our thing that we want subtitles, double click on it to load it up, now we've got it in the timeline as well, and basically 
click on here so that the light comes on and that's going to add a subtitle track and you can double click anywhere when you want to, want to add a subtitle so say our, our character Kelly says a line here like uh, watch out for the bushes and then afterwards double click here to add another subtitle oh no what a Kyle that's not really spell Kyle but oh well and then you just add subtitles like that I'm not going to go through the whole thing for time purposes but you can go through as you can imagine it takes a long time but I have done it and you can scale them change the length of the subtitles reposition them it's brilliant really good <clears throat> and then basically what you can do there's a couple of ways of doing this but so we go into our view, menu on the play, click on the play with subtitles to get the settings um, target we go tracks obviously choose the um, end choose track one and then we want to go to advanced streams choose subtitle, subtitle stream 1 and click on view and that means when you click on here it's going to play it playing that subtitle very simple now you can add chapters very easily in DVD Studio Pro see this grey bar here? Well, you just click there to add a track well oh, sorry a chapter click there to add a chapter and what if you wanted to do a chapter selection menu where well, it's very simple let's pretend that this photo gallery was a button for creating for um, go to chapter 2 then on oh god sorry then on the sorry say we wanted this photo gallery button to be go to chapter 2 in a, deep, in a chapter selection menu you click on the button target you choose your track so it's our end and then you choose the chapter and that's how you create a chapter selection menu and you would look at the menu from this one exactly the same as how we've done our special features if I'm going a bit fast then you can rewatch these or pause them and just try and copy as you go along I think that's a good way to learn this is going to be the end of this part as you can see it ticks the item when it's in use if you've finished your DVD and you see stuff that's unticked then you can delete it and it will be beneficial this bar up here also tells you how much space you're using, but as you can see I'm not using very much at the moment, which is very cool. And I will see you in part three, where we will talk about some additional stuff we can do. We'll talk about how do you create, as you can tell, well, we'll talk about, so. We'll talk about how do we actually go about creating this photo gallery, and also play jumps in the menu selection and you'll see what I mean by that in part three see you then